Now let's talk briefly about the stack and the heap memory. When our program is launched, the operating system can give us a bunch of memory for our program to use. This memory is called the stack. Every time we create a variable, the variable is inserted on the stack. And every time that variable goes out of scope, the variable is popped from the stack. But in this case, we want our buffer to persist the stack. And we also need to free it and reallocate it whenever we need a window of a different size. So in this case, we're going to ask Windows for a new memory, and this memory will come from the heap. And how do you do that? Well, most people use the C runtime library function malloc. But since we are in the Windows platform layer, we can use a more specific Windows-only function, like virtualloc. Okay, now let's see what we have. I'm going to run with Control F10. So I'm going to run the game until it reaches this line that I'm currently on. And since we don't have any buffer memory yet, we're not going to free anything, but we are going to alloc. Now, see that the buffer memory now holds a memory address like we discussed last time about pointers? We can open a memory window from the debug section. Then if we take a look at this address, it returns a lot of memory and it's already cleared for us. Okay, so we're going to put a breakpoint here using F9, and we're going to press F5 to continue the game. So the next time this line is executed, we're going to stop again. Okay, so we have our windows like we did last time. Now let's make it full screen. This time, our memory is already occupied. So first we're going to free the memory. See here in the memory that it changes to not valid in this case, but we're going to allocate again. And the new address we have is already clear for us. Perfect.